Hey everyone, this is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and welcome to another edition of Daz Quick Tips. Today I'll discuss how to use multiple cameras in your Daz Studio scenes. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit that this didn't dawn on me sooner, seeing as I have a background in photography. I'll explain that a bit later. But for now, what I want you to look at is the scene that I've created for my webcomic. Uh, you'll notice that it's a sci-fi futuristic looking kind of base. And I have, there they are, two characters here. But that's not what I want you to take notice of just yet. What I want you to pay particular attention to are these camera icons. So I have one here, another one here, and another one here. These are cameras that I added to the scene so that I can compose different shots or take different pictures of the scene that I created, hence my reference to photography before. The reason why this is important is because it allows me to get different perspectives of the same scene fairly easily. So for instance here, I'll go up to my perspective view and click on the little carrot. And these are the cameras that I created. So this main camera, if I flick to that, now I'm looking through the main camera and you'll see this is a, a wide angle shot. And then if I go to the main close up, this is a close up shot of the two characters in the scene. And then if I go to the side view, this is a side view shot of the two characters in the scene. So, you know, very easily I can go to this drop down menu and choose what shot I want. Before I knew how to create a camera, I would compose my shots using the perspective view, which is okay, but it's limited because you can't control the aperture or the focal length of the virtual lens that you're using to quote unquote photograph your scenes. And, you know, it'd be a simple process of just using the gizmo and kind of shifting things around to get the shot that I want. Which is okay, but if you create a camera, you'll get more, uh, you'll get more options. So I'll go through that process now. So you'll see I have my three cameras here. I'm going to create a new one. Let's get a new one that does a close-up on uh, this male character here. So I'm going to go to my camera tab, which I happen to have over here. From this drop down at the top, it lists the cameras that I've already created, and I'm going to add a camera. So I click that, and let's name the camera. I'll call it Close Up B. You can name it whatever makes sense to you, and hit Accept. Nothing happens right away. But now you'll notice if I go into uh, this drop down here, the close up B camera that I just created appears in the list. So I'm going to select that. And now what I can do is position this camera. So I want a close up on his face. Okay, there we go. But now I also have more control too. So you'll notice that there's these options here. I have the frame width, the focal length, depth of field, focal distance, and the f-stop. I'm not going to go through all these right now. If you have a background in photography or know a little bit, you'll kind of get the, get the idea of what these do. Um, right now, I'll just mess with the focal length just to show you the amount of control that, you, that, that is possible when creating a camera. So right now, mine is at 65 millimeters. If I wanted a, uh, a wide angle lens, let's make this 21 millimeters, right? And you'll see I get more of the picture in the frame. But because I want a close up, I don't want a wide angle lens. Let's go to 100 millimeters, which is a good, uh, good focal length for a close up portrait. And there we go. So as you're creating cameras for your scenes, you know, feel free to play with these settings and um, figure out what's going to work best for your artwork. Another good thing about creating a camera is that you also, there's also undo capability. So what I mean by that is let's say I was happy with this shot 
And for instance, I did this and moved it over here by accident. I said, oh man, how do I get that shot? If you're just using the perspective view, you kind of have to guess it. Um, but now I can just do undo and I get my shot back. Yeah, so that's creating cameras and using multiple them, multiple cameras in one scene. It also gives you more mileage out of the scenes that you create too. So I hope you found that useful. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.